Voting gives us the opportunity to make sure our elected officials reflect our values and how we would like to move into the future. You vote for the change that you want to see. When you see something wrong, that's something that you don't agree with, you have that power, you have that right to vote and see the difference that you want made. So our mission is to close the race and age gap in voter participation. We're a nonpartisan organization that was founded in 2018, and we are very passionate about changing the culture around voting so that young people really see themselves as voters from day one. We want to get every single student the opportunity to register to vote up until the deadlines that are happening. So once those deadlines start happening in those places, then we're going to incorporate in vote by mail or vote early ask so that they can get the process done as fast as possible so that there's not a big crunch of young people trying to either submit a ballot or show up on election day. So just to educate our peers, we're going into high schools, kids our age. It's not like an adult coming in. It will be very different if an adult was coming in talking about voting, but it's always a different point of view when you have someone your age, someone that's in your class talk to you about these important topics. The idea behind when we all vote in the first place was when we all vote, we are a stronger democracy. And that means not in you know, an election every four years or for one candidate or for one office. The idea is that we have to be participating in our democracy all the time. Uh, and so that's the, the whole premise behind it. And so um, that's again why we're nonpartisan. We don't talk about candidates or issues or any of that kind of stuff. All of this is about student voice and young people being able to have their voices heard. And I think we are a much stronger democracy when young people feel like they can participate and they feel like they're beginning to shape the country that they will be asked to lead very soon. And I wanted to shout out the uh, voter registration table over there, vote that join. Uh, when we all vote, Philly Youth Vote, they're here registering people with a vote. You can take a picture of this to register to vote. We can march and protest all we want, but if we don't back it up with our vote, it doesn't mean anything. So go over there and register to vote if you're not already registered. In the younger community, voting isn't the most prominent topic. So as when we all vote ambassadors, it's just our job to catalyze those conversations and start off with, why is voting important to you? Do you know what the process of voting is? Just questions like that to clear any negative stigmas or connotations with um, voting, because there's a lot of mis mis um, there are a lot of misunderstandings about the process. In general, young people participate less frequently than older people. People sometimes say, oh, that's because young people are lazy or they don't care. But oftentimes it's because they don't know. They don't know how to participate. They haven't been given the access to register to vote in the first place. And oftentimes they're not given a reason why it's meaningful for them. Sometimes it might feel like it's rigged. Sometimes it feels like, well, my one vote isn't gonna really make that big of a difference. But why we're so passionate about this is because if a young person registers to vote for their 18th birthday and for the election when they're 18, they are much more likely to be a lifelong voter than if they wait, because it's a part of their identity at that point. And each year afterwards that they wait, that percentage goes lower and lower and lower that they become a lifelong voter. So this isn't just about one election, it's about each and every election. It's about helping young people have voting and civic participation as a part of their identity that they just do every single year, no matter what. It's just, it's incredibly important, especially as a young woman and a young woman of color to have my voice heard in anything that I'm not okay with. If I feel like we need change in a certain way, electing an official that I believe has the vision for the future that we would like to see is so important. <laughs>
And it changed me because I always say, everyone in We All Vote is here for different reasons, but the same goal. And I just learned so many different backgrounds, different perspectives. Everyone comes from different strokes of life to commune together to get everyone registered to vote. And it's just such a beautiful process. As a former middle school teacher uh, who taught social studies on the south side of Chicago, I knew that the degree to which students would feel invested in the work that they were doing was connected to the degree to which they felt like this was a society, a community, a country that included them. And so the more that we can help students feel like this country includes them proactively, and the more that we can give them an opportunity not just to use their voice, but to shape the future of the country, then I think we will see young people continue to become invested in this future and shape it in ways that are much better than what we've done so far. And I think as we think about something like civic identity, um, one of the cornerstones of that is a sense of belonging. And so our first thing is to lead with inclusion. And so we have welcome calls for students every Wednesday night at the exact same time for the last two months. Uh, and we begin with them telling their personal stories. And we begin with them creating community and connection across difference. Hearing their stories and hearing their struggles and why they want change and need change is so inspiring. Making new friends, like I said, despite everything we've been through, we come here and we've all been brought here because we have a certain love and a passion for what we're doing. Once you start to help them feel included in a sense of belonging and connection, Across each other, then they're able to not only take action on the things that we propose, but they are coming up with all sorts of ideas themselves. So they have started a direct message campaign on Instagram, for example. And just in the last three weeks, they've direct messaged 36,000 students to register to vote. They created a podcast and they interviewed each other on this podcast. And it was incredibly inspiring 12 minutes. And they were as on message as any, uh, any leader would be. Uh, because they actually own it and they care about it and they're just speaking from their own experience. And they're leading all this work by doing direct message campaigns to their peers, by posting on social media how to register to vote, the dates that are coming up, the important things to consider when you're thinking about how to actually mail in your ballot. All of these things that are gonna be big questions that are coming up, they're now taking it leading in ways that probably wouldn't have happened if we wouldn't have had this online necessity over the last few months. Our ideas and anything that we have to bring to the table of as far as making the organization better and simpler for students and more interactive, all ears are open. It's just such an amazing thing. All of our ideas are taken very seriously. The reason why we created our student ambassador program was because students demanded it. They said, we're nervous about our future. We're not sure if we're gonna be able to go off to college. If, even if we do go to college, we're not sure what that's gonna look like now. And so we want something for our resumes. We wanna develop our skills so that we can keep this going. And so we created the ambassador program for them. And so they're developing leadership skills all the time. In the training boot camps, we also talk about public speaking because when we have offers a lot of transferable skills, just whether it's um, engagement in the classroom when you're speaking, organizational skills, time management. So one of them is public speaking. And a lot of um, our students are kind of shy. So we um, just teach them how to speak articulately. We teach them how to um, answer questions effectively, stuff like that. When I joined, I could not speak to a group of people at all. I was probably the most shy person ever. Now, if someone wants to join when we all vote, I'll hop on a call at any time of the day. I want to be friends with everyone. So I literally, before joining, I did not know how to read a spreadsheet. I did not know what it was. I now actually have the app downloaded. Like literally, that's how much we make. We, me and Kayla color code it. I even bought like an organizer for my calendars because like life has got so jam packed with when we all vote and I needed to like get my life together. But it's been the best, the best experiences. Our mantra is how can we organize ourselves out of a job? Meaning, how can young people take more and more of the responsibilities that we had started off with? And so they are leading all of our welcome calls. They are leading the organizing in their areas. And so it's just been amazing to see them flourish in, the way, in this way. And as an employer, I would love to have someone be able to think about growing something over time, to be able to see something start this small, develop their skills, 
and then to be able to take ownership over it over the course of time. And so to me, it's exactly what, what folks are looking for. The adults, when we reach out to them, they're so excited. I feel like I heard the phrase, I wasn't like that when I was your age, like 30 times. And they say that so wholeheartedly. When we do email teachers and principals and community leaders, they are very, very open because Women's Level is a nonpartisan organization. We do not affiliate with the, any political party. We just want to get all eligible voters registered to vote. That is what we're trying to do. So they're very, very open to help us in any way that they can. For many of them, they come in being nervous, thinking, does this mean we have to organize a big pep rally and have the mayor come talk? about you know civic participation and voting and all that stuff do we have to have mock elections and sure you can do some of those things but the most powerful thing that you can do to maximize voter registration is to integrate it into the things that the school is already doing so anytime that you have enrollment or report card pickup or um, cap and gown pickup or the first day of classes or when they're getting their class schedules any of those types of communications where they're already filling out forms or students are thinking about logistics or any of those kinds of things, those are powerful vehicles. We've also seen teachers incorporated into their advisory program. And so just a very simple registration, not a lot of fanfare, where students are able to just register to vote right there in their advisory. We've also seen US history classes and social studies classes take this on. And so when they're handing out their syllabus or when they get to a key moment, in their curriculum. They do the registration right there. And it doesn't require a whole big lift or anything. It's just integrating it into what you're already doing. So we talk about this as being institutionalizing the process of voter registration as a rite of passage. does have an educators call every other Tuesday so they can join those calls and it's a national call with teachers all across the country and they I definitely urge them to join those calls so if you want to take action and you want to join this growing group of students and educators go to whenweallvote.org and sign up for the my school votes program you can also join our national student ambassador program if you are a student leader wanting to get involved in all this work and if you're an educator you can get $150 through our partnership with Donors Choose to join my school votes and do this work in your school. And a message for all my wonderful educators. If my favorite teacher told me to do something, I would do it. And that is the honest truth. Teachers are such a pivotal and such an important part in a child's life. So I just wanna say like educators, you guys are super, super important. And we cannot do this without you guys because Yes, this is a student-led program, but the teachers are the ones we look up to when we do this. So your support is super, super important.